Here's a quick video on how to build a dynamic AFO with the RevoFit system and the slider. First we'll start with the slider. We put clay into the small tube and then insert it into the slider mechanism and the lamination collar. Now on your model draw out the location of the anchor and the location of the reel and the slider. We're also going to note the trim lines on the model so that we have a good idea of where our components will lie. Note the vertical cut that is going to allow for the bivalve of this cuff. Now we'll add on the anchor and the lamination collar to make sure they fit correctly. But then we'll take the lamination collar off, add the non-stretch inner layers. Then we will add the lamination dummy for the collar on the slider. And we're gonna tape this on with unidirectional carbon tape. The unidirectional carbon tape has been sprayed on one side with spray adhesive. Then we're going to insert the tubing. We've put clay into this tube, and now we're going to route it along the lace path that we determined on the model. We want to be careful not to kink the tubing, so we carefully route it and tape it down with that unidirectional carbon. I'm going to bring it around, tape it into place, all the way onto the other side of the model, and continue taping that tubing into place so it stays firmly where we want it. And then now as we approach the reel again, we're going to trim the tubing to the right size, put some clay in the end, and then insert it into the lamination dummy. Now we're going to finish taping down that tubing, again being careful not to kink the tube, but to make sure that it's in the right place and is symmetrical. Now we'll apply the socket over and just reposition and make sure that all of our components are where we want them. Then we'll tie off the ends and get ready for our outer layers of carbon. Once those outer layers of carbon are on and in place, we'll apply the PVA bag, really making sure that we don't disrupt the position of the components. As we start laminating, we're gonna carefully make sure that the lamination resin gets under the tubing and the reel. And we're gonna just carefully string that device just as you normally would laminate. At the end, you wanna be sure that you are working out some of the excess resin around the componentry. Again, just be careful that you're not disrupting the componentry. Before the resin sets, we're just making sure that the tubing is in the right place, there's good symmetry, and that we have the right amount of room for our vertical cuts in the cuff. Now, we're going to transfer our trim lines onto the device. Our distal and our proximal trim lines, and then those vertical cuts. Now, notice we're going to add a little keyhole cut. That keyhole is a really nice way to make sure that the cuff aligns properly as it's being tightened. This keyhole will be in the opposite direction of the first keyhole, the first symmetry. Now we're just gonna check our work and then we'll go ahead and cut those trim lines. The proximal trim line, the distal trim line, and those vertical cuts through the cuff.
Once that's done, we will then start to finish the assembly of the cuff. We're gonna grind down to those lamination dummies and then we will remove them. We're gonna trim the tubing and then we're gonna sand all those edges just so they're nice and smooth. Then we're gonna insert the slider mechanism, insert that pin down the tubing and snap it into place. You can see it protrude out there. We're gonna to need to trim that pin so that it is at the right length for proper operation. Now we're going to push that forward after marking it. We'll trim the pin. And then we're gonna pull it back and see if it's flush with the housing. There it was just a little bit long. So we just take off oh, an, another tad bit. And then test it and see that it's nice and flush with the housing edge. Now you can insert a reel here just to test it, just to be sure that that functions well and that all of the parts are aligning. Now we're gonna take that reel out and then lace the cuff. We lace this just like we lace any other device with the metal lace feeder, pulling the spectral lace through the system. Once the cuff is laced up, we can attach the lace to the reel. This is the same process as we always use in attaching the lace to the reel. Okay, once that Lace is attached, we're going to insert it into the cuff. It really helps to first make sure that the lace is tucked into the knot holes well. And then we're gonna remove those red plugs that activates the quick wind feature. And then we're gonna pull on the laces to seat the reel and then press it into place. Now we can operate it. So we're winding forward, it's gonna automatically move into the seven to one and close the device. Once it's closed and there's a lot of tension on the system, you can activate that slider. Once the slider's activated, now you can tighten and loosen the cuff without it ever coming apart quickly. It's a really nice safety feature for the user. When they're ready to get out, they can just release that slider so the red mark is not showing and then turn the reel to the left and it'll release the system and allow it to be opened. When they're ready to tighten it up again, you just start winding again. And once it's tight, then you can activate that slider. That is the fabrication method for using RevoFit to make a dynamic AFO using the slider.